Rate level allows you to make sure clients are billed different amounts according to the type of work done. You obviously wouldn't want to charge a client the same amount for two hours spent on a difficult audit job as you would the same two hours on much easier bookkeeping work. Likewise, specific employees who have much more experience may charge more for that audit job than one of your employees who's just signed on with your firm. And since TPS is fully capable of pulling the rates you've established into the time entry screen when you're entering time, we want to make sure you're using it correctly and getting the most out of what TPS has to offer. For this reason, you see rates in two different parts of TPS. Here under Work Codes is where you decide which rate will be assigned to each work code or task. In the Employee Properties, under the Rates tab is where you will set how much an employee charges for each rate. You can see that Donna doesn't have anything set for Level 1, which means any Level 1 work will pull this standard rate on the time entry screen per hour since nothing else has been specified. But you can see here that a Level 2 would be $120 per hour for Donna, and Level 3 would be $200 per hour for Donna. So let's say that you decide that payroll will be a level 2 rate level. And corporate tax prep will be at a level 3 rate level. As soon as you set that here, it ties in with the time entry screen. So if my employee rate tab says that I charge $120 per hour for any level 2 work, when I come to the time entry screen and choose a work code that's set at a level 2, like payroll, and perform one hour of work, you see that it automatically pulls that $120 that I had set in Donna's Employee Rates tab. The system knows to put in that $120 for that hour of work. Once that's whipped, it'd be available to be billed to the client. Now if I change this work code to a level three work code, like the corporate tax prep, you can see that that $120 amount here changed automatically to 200 to match that level 3 work code because we had $200 set in Donna's level 3 rate on her employee rates tab. Now back on the work code screen, how you choose to set up your rates is entirely up to you. You might decide the easiest work will be a level 1 and the most difficult will be a level 20. Or you might do it the other way around and decide the difficult work will be a level 1 and the easiest a level 20. Down here is where you add, edit, or delete a rate level. Adding is easy. All you do is type the name of it and put in a description if you'd like. And then you can see they show up here. And when you're adding rate levels, you may decide that naming them levels or rate level doesn't make sense at all, especially in certain situations, for example, expenses. You may just want to name that rate level as miles for miles driven to your client's place of business. Watch our video over here on the unit dropdown to get a better understanding of that. But using rates is easy once you get the hang of it.